have seen the limitation of your conventional tubes. Here we will see that what is the alternate that we are having. We can go for your microwave tubes as an alternative to your conventional tubes. So we can use the microwave tubes at your microwave frequency. The microwave tubes basically we are using it for either for amplification purpose or for the oscillation purpose. Only these two are the basic application on which we are going. So if we are going for the microwave tubes, we can classify the microwave tubes into two groups. First one is your O type tube and second one is your M type tube. O type, O type means O stands for original. O stands for original. So it is original type. It is also called your linear beam tube. This is also called your linear beam. On the other hand, your M type tube, it is also known as cross field tube. Okay. So this is linear beam and this is cross field. This linear beam, this linear beam, why they are putting it? Because here what is happening that the electric field and the magnetic field, they are parallel to one another. So as electric field and magnetic field are parallel, they are going to be as linear beam. On the other hand, in case of your M type tube, your electric field and magnetic field, they are perpendicular to one another. As they are perpendicular, they are also telling it as cross field. So cross field tubes. Now here we have to focus on your O type tubes only. Okay. Your M type tube, this will come in the next unit. Okay. So when we are going for your O type tubes, here we can classify in cavity type and your slow beam structure. In, in cavity type, you are having resonant. And in resonant, you are having your pristron. Pristron is an amplifier. So, in pristron, you are having two cavity pristron amplifier. You are having multi cavity pristron amplifier. When we are going for your slow beam structure, in slow beam structure, you are having a forward wave or you are having the backward wave. If you are going for the forward wave, there you are having Traveling wave tube, traveling wave tube, it is an amplifier. And when we are going for your backward wave, in backward wave, we are having a, say backward wave amplifier and backward wave oscillator. Now, if you are seeing your uh, Plistron, your uh, Plistron, in Plistron, what you are having, say reflex Plistron. So, reflex Plistron is an oscillator. So, Plistron is an amplifier, reflex Plistron is an oscillator. One you are having, that is the hybrid between your Plistron and traveling wave tube, that is your Twistron. So, Twistron is in your amplifier. So, it is having the property of your both Plistron and traveling wave tube. And we are using it as an amplifier. Focus on Plistron. This one means two cavity piston amplifier. You have to focus on reflex piston. Reflex piston is an oscillator, and you have to focus on traveling wave tube. Traveling wave tube is an amplifier. So these three doctors, these three uh, tubes will be there in your third unit. And when you are going for the fourth unit, there you will have the M type tubes. Okay.